Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I got Sari Moon Dreams and I'm going to stamp it with gold. I started off with Peel Ease as my base coat and I think this is Sayuri Moonbeam Dreams. This is a new indie polish to me. I've never tried this brand so here we go. We're going to get started with our first coat and it goes on like a dream. It's very very easy to work with. Um, of course that first coat is a little sheer. I do tend to lean towards thinner coats, especially on my first coat, and um, then kind of build them up. But this ends up being a two-coater for me, which is totally doable. I would do two coats anyway, <laughs> being sure to cap that free edge. There we go. Liking it so far. And here we go with our second coat of the Moonbeam Dreams. You guys know I had to have this just because of the name. This is one of the polishes I got from the polish pickup a while back. I've already hauled it, but I'm, I'm actually getting to wear it right now, so that's really cool. Love all that gold in there. Uh. <clears throat> I'm going to top it off some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Um, one of my subscriber friends had said something about, I noticed you use different top coats for different things, and that is very true. Um, I do have a lot of top coats that I like to play with, but um, this one, the Pro FX, I like it because it's a little thinner. And this is the You Are Beautiful number 17 plate, and I apologize for the lighting. I'm going to try to get that worked out. That's the problem with doing stamping plates. They just blare on you got my monocle stamper and my scraper out. I'll be using the Beauty Big Bang 0011, 0011, 0011, the gold stamping polish today. There we go. Nice pickup. And I'm going to do a couple of different images today. That's going to be one of my accent images right there. I am cleaning that plate off with some acetone in between get all that excess polish out so I can get a crisp pickup again. But like I was saying about top coats, I definitely do bounce back and forth between different uses for different top coats. Um, Posh seems to be one of my favorites. There is a tiny bit of shrinkage with that one sometimes. And I didn't get a good scrape on that. I'm going to have to fill it in some more. It's got a lot of open image to it, so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of polish on there. And this is the image I'm going to use on my pinky, my middle, and my pointer finger. It's I just thought it worked really well with the other one. Of course, with my nails being so little and so short, there you know you don't get that whole image on the nail, but that's okay. I did end up liking it, so that, I guess that's, you know, that's saying something. There we go, cleaning that plate off again. And I am still working on these You Are Beautiful plate giveaways. I've still got a few to give away, and we'll keep on doing that. I just, um, I get sidetracked. I have a lot going on. <laughs> so there we go. And one of these days, I'm going to remember to use some, um, you know, some kind of nail barrier when I use this gold polish. <laughs> it does come up rather well with the tape, but I don't get all of it. And when I do go to clean it up with the acetone, whoo-wee, I'm just getting little gold sparklies everywhere. And I'm trying to get that underneath also. There we go. We're almost there. Alrighty, so let's go in with our acetone and our cleanup brush. Do a little bit of tidying up. It doesn't look too bad from here, but um, I think even in my swatch photo, you can see all those little gold shiny flecks everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to top this with the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat. Um, I'm trying to get better about remembering this. It's not always needed, but you know. It's just one of those things, you know, if you've got to use it. I'm so glad they've come out with stuff like that. Hi, Woody. And then I'm going to top it off with my Posh Top Coat. So that kind of shows you how I do top coats. Um, I think I've used three in this video. <laughs> 
but you know everybody's got a favorite I think and if you don't have one you will you will find one and here's Woody again visiting us Gotta get them that little bit there we go. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.